South African wage talks in the mining industry and related industries have started and following a pattern of recent years, many of the union's demands seem to be far above official inflation rate, which is in the region of 4.6% figures in May. Joining us now in studio, Patrick Craven, national spokesperson of South Africa's biggest trade union, Kasatu. Thanks so much for your time. Already you know where I'm going with this. You know, <laughs> demands in the region of 13 to 14% by the coal and gold mining workers doesn't seem to be reasonable. On the contrary, we think they're very reasonable. The context to all these wage negotiations is the fact that we are the most unequal society in the world. And uh, if workers get increases that are the same as the rate of inflation, that gap isn't getting any smaller. In fact, it's getting bigger in absolute terms uh, because 4.6% or whatever it is of a very low wage is still a very low wage, mm. whereas 4.6% percent of uh, a million uh, yeah. which a lot of employers get is obviously far bigger so that's why we're absolutely right to demand real increases so in other mm -hmm. words there is actually more spending right. power in the workers pockets I think if people are not questioning the sanity of the demands they're questioning the timing because it comes at a time where South Africa is growing but very very slowly bucking under the pressure of a sluggish global recovery process and mining houses in particular hard hit you know um, their margins are significantly lower than we've seen in recent years and there is that consideration to make if they do give in ultimately they're gonna have to retrench workers no we would dispute that the um, one of the main problems with our economy which uh, the more thoughtful business people themselves appreciate is the very low level of demand because so many workers are either unemployed mm. or employed on very, very low wages. Mm. And so it's a complete myth to think, well, if only you can keep wages down, then the economy will, will thrive. It won't. It uh, might help one or two employers in the short run to be able to cut their wage bill. Mm. But all it means in the long run is that even less money is being spent in the shops, is being spent on services, which is bad news for the economy. You cannot build an economy on the basis of poverty wages. And that's what many workers earn at the moment. I mean, you're saying it's a myth. Many people would argue it is not a myth. It is a reality. When you look at unemployment in the region of 25% at an official rate, when you look at corporate earnings, there is a problem here. There's a skills problem and there is a productivity problem. South African exports declined in the region of 20%. Even officials recognize that in general. South African labor not producing what we ought to be producing in order to grow the economy at 6 or 7%, which is what's needed to absorb so many people who are unemployed. You're right about the skills problem. You're right about the productivity problem. But they are not the workers' fault. They shouldn't have to pay the full price for the fact that uh, uh, management cannot organize their uh, uh, industries in a, an efficient and productive fashion. And you can't blame the workers for the fact that our education system isn't producing enough workers with the right skills. They're problems which we have to tackle. But in the meantime, you can't say, well, in order to solve this problem, we will keep wages down, if possible, even lower. It's, it's, it, there's no relation between the two. I don't think they're saying in order to solve the problem, but the, what they're definitely saying is if you want to employ more people without the skills, you're going to have to keep wages competitive because South Africa's not just an island. We're now competing with China and Asia and exports coming in from emerging markets, and they produce at considerably less cost to what happens in South Africa. This needs to be a competitive economy. In the case of China, they can keep wages low because for years workers have had no rights effectively to organize and to uh, demand better wages. That is changing. Their uh, workers are now starting to go on strike. And I'm sure that their employers are saying exactly the same. Oh, if we agree to your wage increase, you won't be able to compete with these South African workers. It's what we've sometimes called a race to the bottom, mm. that uh, all employers all over the world are saying, well, we must keep our wages down so we can keep uh, keep up with these other employers in other countries. It's all ultimately self-defeating. Mm. It will lead to a lowering, the problem I mentioned in relation to South Africa, of a lowering of demand. It'll happen all over the world. That is no basis on which to expand the economy. So what's the next course of action here? Because I know that effectively bargaining council, we're told, begins somewhere in mid-June. We've just been looking at submissions at this point. If employers don't agree, is it strike? 
the strike has already started. It started yesterday, okay. so it's not a question if, if okay. it's happened because uh, talks did break down. This right. is in the, the manufacturing right. sector and two of our unions, and I read today that other non casata unions are now joining in as well, which is always a, a, a sign that there's a, a real discontent mm. Uh, they're now already so what happens to these processes at the bargaining council where people talk, talk at least till a deadline that was set for mid-June? Yeah, well that deadline has been reached and uh, an agreement has well, not been July, reached. Well in July, we're in July, it's yes. my fault, my bad. Okay, now in addition to workers demanding uh, wage increases, there's also the story of uh, allowances that are being raised that 45% is the demand. I mean that also seems to be a bit steep. This is an issue which has uh, come up quite recently which uh, is broadly what we call the social wage. A lot of the problems that workers face is not only are they paid too little, but they, the cost of living keeps going up and up and up. And we've mentioned specifically transport, yeah. which is very topical because there's a danger that it's going to go up a lot more yeah. with uh, road tolls being uh, introduced. And what we're saying is that, um, that we should look at ways in which we can have some kind of an allowance which will cover yeah. the uh, huge cost which many workers have to pay simply to get to and from yeah. work. We're a business channel, obviously you know that. And yes. <laughs> yes, you say that with such a sinister tone. And obviously investors are watching from across Africa internationally and looking at whether or not this is a country to be getting uh, involved in investment-wise. And they'll say, you know, labor seems quite belligerent, seems quite militant. Then you're getting debates around nationalization particularly in mining, as we're talking about labor in the mining sector, it just doesn't seem to be a conducive enough environment to be operating in. How do you respond to that? Interestingly enough, your last guest made a very interesting comment about not being able to create an island of wealth in a sea of poverty. Mm -hmm. So it shows that some employers are a, a bit more thoughtful than these ones you're quoting, who I believe just look at their bottom line. Yeah. This is the, the, the big problem with business. They don't look at the long-term interests of our country and the people as a whole. And uh, the debate on nationalization, for instance, is a very important national debate. It can't be rushed. It has to be done properly and effectively. And certainly, we're not going to allow that debate to be hijacked by uh, companies, particularly big international companies who aren't even based in South Africa, to uh, try to uh, intimidate everybody into saying, well, if you agree with nationalization, then we're going to withdraw all our investments. You cannot plan policy on the basis of those kind of threats, and uh, we're certainly not going to.